what top sellers do and what the average sellers do, there's a drastic difference. On this episode, we're going to point out what you need to be aware of so you can be in a top seller category and not just like those other sellers. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, we have an awesome guest. His name is Ian Koniak, and the cool thing about Ian is that he's not only a sales rep, a sales leader, but he's also carried the bag selling in the B2B space and the B2C space previous to that. Um, he worked recently at an amazing company. You've probably heard of them, Salesforce. And he has a, like some really good knowledge on not only what he did, but also what his clients ha- are, are doing and also what some of his teammates has done to be really successful at Salesforce. We're going to tackle that today and talk about the specific idea of what top sellers are doing that most sellers actually miss. What makes top performing tech sellers top performers? Like, because there, there's there's clearly things that they do differently than the traditional seller, I would call them, um, in this or average sellers in, in this situation. So, if you don't mind pointing out maybe the top three things, and then we could take a few minutes and dive into each of them. I'm gonna try and bucket these because there's a lot, sure. but I wanna yeah. talk about the qualities of the person first sure, and then I want to talk about the activities. So the qualities of top sellers in tech that I've um, worked with either through my coaching of coaching them or through colleagues that were top performers or, or myself included. Um, number one is, is they're very authentic. I think fundamentally people have a bad image of salespeople still and they see people as salesy and, and they're just um, the top performers are genuine. They, they show up, they're approachable, they're relatable, and they're authentic. I'd say the second quality of these top performers is they, they care. You know, they care more about helping their clients and transforming their clients' business than they do, do about their own commission. When you're dealing at kind of the lower levels of sales, you know, you're very commission focused, make the sale. Mm-hmm. But when you're dealing with selling something transformational in nature or, or technology or SaaS, you know, you really do have to take the time to understand where a client's struggling today, where they might have challenges, what they're doing, what they've tried to do in the past, understand, you know, what, what a client's goals are and challenges are. And those are different skills than just uncovering what they're spending on their current provider, right? And so I think it starts with curiosity of, of what a client's doing and what's not working. And the third quality I would say, um, in addition to authenticity and caring is integrity. Um, Genuinely um, knowing that once you've done the right level of discovery and you've really uncovered where clients challenges lie, if your company is in a position to help them solve those challenges or achieve a goal, then when you have high integrity in sales, that means you're going to uh, make sure that you do the right thing for for the client long term versus trying to do the short term thing that's going to get you a sale but might be at the expense of client success long term. So I think mm. the qualities of really being able to walk away when it's not a good fit or being very honest uh, uh, in terms of like the challenges that they might be facing. A lot of the products might sound the same, but when you really dive in and see what people's needs are if you're not able to meet those needs or if your company might have some shortcomings that are going to impact the customer experience or their expectations the high integrity sellers are very forthright about limitations and they're very honest about what they can and they can't do and that builds a lot of credibility with with clients and a lot of respect and trust so i think the qualities of the person fundamentally are different versus like the inward i'm here for my commission i'm here for myself i'm here to make a sale like that's really good and transactional where you're doing high volume but when you're really partnering with big companies those qualities actually are, are a detriment and they hurt you when you come across a salesy because big companies they want partners they want people that are going to be with them for the long haul good bad and ugly especially you know when they're spending millions with you 
And then the second bucket, so we talk about the qualities of the person sure. are just different at the top performer. They care, they're genuine, they're, um, they have high integrity. I mean, it's, it's everything that you would think of opposite to what the typical sales like used car salesman impression would would be but that i mean they're they're acting more like consultants um and the second the second kind of bucket is is what do they actually do um and i think their work habits are very different i think um that the top performers are very organized and they're very focused in in, in fact the number one performers around Salesforce and Microsoft and Oracle and some of these big tech companies that um, I coach people from, they're essentially saying no a lot more than they're saying yes. They really do value their time. And what they're doing is they're picking, it, it's the whole Pareto principle. It's the 80-20 rule. And they realize that you know 80% of their revenue is gonna come from 20% of their account. So when I was in Salesforce and um, I'm thinking of a good buddy of mine, that overachieves every year. He's two, three hundred percent, makes a million dollars a year every year, year after year. And he only picks like one or two accounts and he goes all in with those accounts and does these big, you know, seven and eight figure deals with them because he's all in. He's walking the halls with these accounts. It's, it's very much an enterprise motion. And if you have, you know, a hundred accounts, you're going to be really th thinly spread. So you really need to pick your top, you know, five or 10 accounts that you're going to get you know, the biggest opportunity with versus selling a lot of very small opportunities and grinding it out. Like the, the best sellers are spending more time with fewer people at that executive level, at that C-suite level to sell these big transformational deals. And they're only working a few accounts, but they're really deeply ingrained with those accounts. That's what I see them spending their time on. I love this. Uh, so many great things here that you just shared, Ian, and I'm super appreciative of it. And I think it gives us a good idea to put us on a track on how we can become more like those top performers. If folks want to get in touch with you because they want to learn more or get coached from you, what's the best way for them to go about doing so? Yeah, um, find me on LinkedIn. It's uh, just Ian Koniak. I'm easy to find or Google me. Um, there's four channels that I have. So I have LinkedIn where I post a lot of content. I have a YouTube channel. Um, youtube.com slash Ian Koniak, where I post all my sales training videos. I have my website you can go to. Um, it's untapyoursalespotential.com. That's my coaching program where I, um, you know, I have different levels of membership depending on if you want one-on-one -on -one versus group versus kind of self, self-service 24 on-demand coaching. So I have, um, you know, multiple options available, but I'd say start with LinkedIn, um, reach out, tell me that you heard me on, on the podcast. And um, if you do want to sign up for coaching, just go to untapyoursalespotential.com and you'll see all the details and you can sign up for the wait list. The programs are all sold out right now, but I will be taking more clients in the summer. So uh, make sure you're on that wait list and, and I'll reach out when, when spots open up. That was Ian Koniak. And if you want to go ahead and connect with him, you can find all of his information down in the show notes. Connect with his YouTube channel and subscribe. He has some amazing content there. He speaks the truth because he is a seller deep down inside. He leads and coach sellers right now, but the reason why he can do that so well is because he was recently just a seller. So he brings so many great wisdom and ideas that you can take tangible things and apply. As always, we share stuff like this because we want you to thrive and succeed in sales. We want you to find more of your ideal customers. We want you to know what to say when you reach out to them. We want you to close more deals. And one offer I want to give you too, we have a free sales training course that you could take advantage of. There are five videos that I have created and put together so you can help so you can help you in your sales effort. Just simply go to the salesevangelist.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you'll find it right there. Or go to the salesevangelist.com slash free course. Again, the salesevangelist.com slash free course and take advantage of that. I appreciate you. And as always, go out and do big things.